What inspired you to get involved in public service? For years, we heard David Barton speak about how Christians need to be involved in politics and really impact the world for Christ. Mm -hmm. And so one day I went to a Christian meeting and I sat beside this guy and he told me he was going to run for state senate. And so I told him, well, even though I'd never been involved in politics at all, I said, whatever I can do to help you, let me know. And so he, I gave him my phone number and it seemed like, it was like maybe a couple weeks later, uh, somebody from his office contacted me and my family and I went out and handed out a few campaign cards and we put up a few signs and the guy ended up winning state senate. Mm -hmm. And then after he got elected, uh, one day we heard on the Christian radio that he was going to have a rally to try to ban partial birth abortion in Arkansas. And it ended up being, this rally was going to be the same day as a doctor's appointment we had for one of our children uh, in Little Rock, which is about three hours from our house. And so I told Michelle, I said, why don't we go to uh, the doctor's appointment, and then we'll swing by this rally, and then we'll go home. Well, we got out in front of the state capitol, and there was 2,000 people out in front of the state capitol begging the representatives and senators to ban partial birth abortion. And that day, instead of passing the ban, they voted it down. And it was that day that God put on my heart to get involved in politics. It was a big decision for us because at that point, we had nine children. We had nine children at the we time. We had nine children. And we realized that this was not just daddy going to be serving. It was our whole family ministry. And we prayed about that as a family. And we had such a peace, even though we were scared, <laughs> we had a peace that only comes from knowing that you're doing what God's called you to do. And, and we went around as a family. We said, this isn't um, dad's ministry. This is our family ministry. So we knocked on every door in our district just about with grandma and dad and I and all the kiddos, strollers, whatever, and met the people in our district. And we just handed out a simple card with a picture of our family on the front and what we stood for on the back. What lessons has politics provided for your kids? A certain reporter had um, coverage for the political realm. And every time we were someplace, this reporter was there because it was his job. And he really started out in a very negative tone toward Jim Bob. And every article that came out was just like huge, you know, negative thing. And every time that we would see him at these events, we would just be kind to him and gracious and go up and say hello. And, and then later he began to warm up and then things weren't quite so ugly in the newspaper articles. And after a while, it was amazing because after we were out, I think, of the, the uh, political realm, we received a Christmas card from this gentleman, and it was signed, Your Friend. And I thought, okay, Lord, we showed the children, this is the way that God's principles work. We don't understand it while we're going through it. And sometimes we cry, and sometimes it's hard, but we get on our knees and we pray and we do what God says to do, even though we don't feel like it. We choose to do what He says, and then we see the results later on down the road. And sometimes we may never see the results until heaven, but we know that God's ways work. Is there a run for Congress in your future? We still feel like that the Lord has led us into politics and we're very involved in, in helping in the pro-life cause and with candidates and, uh, and who knows, maybe several of our children will run for office here in the, the near future. And, right. and we're not close to being in political office, I say we. I mean, he, he jokingly says, you need to run for us. <laughs> like, well, I don't President know. Michelle Duggar. So yeah. Oh, my. I said, I got my babies to love on and take care of. But um, It's almost like running a small country, just yeah, managing yeah, our home right, right now. Yes, but we, but we still believe we're in the political realm. We're still involved, very involved in our community and our, our nation and encouraging others to step up to the plate and run for office because if we could run for office, anybody can step up and run for office with when they know that that's what God has called them to do. Do your kids feel called to public service? Right now, several of our children have helped in campaigns. We've made signs for presidential candidates to signs for state representative and state they're, senators. They're, and like when there's a big race, they're going out putting out signs. They'll go, and then when the race is over, they go out and stay up all night long mm -hmm. through the night, getting all the signs off the, the roads, you know, in the streets and bringing right. them back in. And, and then I think our sons and, and some of the, the girls enjoy doing um, graphic design work. Mm -hmm. 
And so um, they've designed political campaign cards for candidates, and Christian candidates and, and websites. And so they do all of these behind the scene things. We're always involved in something political. Today's families are so busy. How do they get involved? I highly recommend, and I say this again, I know Jerry Cox in our area with Family, uh, family Council. Family Council. They, yeah. oh, I, for people who didn't have any political understanding whatsoever, but we knew that as a good citizen, we should vote. But we were like, we don't even know who's running and we don't even know what they stand for. How do we even begin this whole process? And I kind of think for the longest time, I thought, you know what? They are trying to keep it a secret. They don't want you to know who to vote, what they believe and where they stand. But with Family Council, that helped us tremendously. I say the voter, guide. the voter guide that they sent out would tell you about the candidates and who. And then with um, focus on the family and the, the arms of ministry that they have in this area, there is a wealth of information that will keep you informed. And I feel like you can never fill your mind with too much good. You listen to focus on the family every day, you're going to get your mind filled with good things that's going to help you to make the right choices and, and understand what's going on in, the, in, in your world and community. It's so important for families, not just for like dad to go off and do some ministry or mom to go off and just do a ministry, but to try to find ministries that you can do together as a family. Mm -hmm. And for us, that's what politics has been. We go to political rallies together, we help candidates together, we have served together, and I have a feeling that this has been one of the great, greatest education processes for our children and for them to see that public service is not about us, but it's about serving others and about serving the community and making a difference. And I hope other people get involved.